What's going on everybody? Nelson Chan from Hoop Live. Welcome back to another episode of Twitter Tuesdays. And by now, I'm pretty sure you guys know what Twitter Tuesdays is. And for those who are new, uh, you guys don't know what Twitter Tuesday is. Uh, basically, you guys tweet me at my Twitter account, at Nelly Nell Chan, with any questions, concerns, thoughts that you guys may have, you tweet me. Uh, with the hashtag Ask Hoop and Life, and I'll do my best to answer all that for you guys. Uh, every Tuesday, I'll be dropping out a video. Let's just get straight right into the tweet. Okay, tweet number one of the week. Uh, like I mentioned, I apologize if I mispronounce this. Uh, Eliza Suartanto. Suartanto, Eliza. Okay, Nelly. Any basketball shoes right now similar to Kobe 9, aka the best hoop shoes ever? Ooh, Kobe 9, huh? That was a pretty good hoop shoe. I wouldn't say it's the best hoop shoe. Maybe for you. Everyone has their own standards, you know, in terms of what they like and what they don't like. Uh, Kobe 9 was a phenomenal shoe. Traction, probably the best. Cushioning wasn't as good for me, but uh, Kobe 9 was an awesome shoe. Look wise too. A shoe very similar to the Kobe 9's, I would say, you guys might find this ironic, is actually the, the new Kobe AD's, the mid top ones, you know, new Kobe AT mids. Those are fairly similar to the 9's. I would say it's pretty close. The traction is, you know, on point, good. Cushioning is not the best, but uh, you know, it's similar. Even though your Kobe 9 is full Lunar Lawn, the Kobe AD's is a little more responsive and more firm, you know, with the, the half zoom you know, with the rest of the Lunar Lawn. Yeah, in terms of the upper, the Kobe 80 mids is not, you know, the same because, you know, the Kobe 9, I think, you know, had a mesh and some had a fly knit. Uh, but the Kobe AD, in terms of, I would say, lightweight and flexibility uh, are pretty similar. So besides that, you know, Kobe AD mids is like a more of a mid top compared to the nines. But I mean that the nines did have a low and a high, so it's right in between. I would say the Kobe AD mids are, uh, pretty close to the Kobe 9's. Next up we got Mario Clark. He says, Nelly, I have played small forward and shooting guard in the past. How do I find what position is best? There are a lot of factors that can go into this question uh, in regards to whether you're a shooting guard or a power forward. I'm oh, sorry, small forward. One, it really depends on how you really play like, like what are you more similar to? And if you like to play that position better than one or the other. Two, if you're playing on a school team or any like rec team or basically team ball and if you have a coach depending on the other players on your team the size you know the capability the skill the coach can put you at shooting guard or small forward depending on what the team needs so you know there's a lot of factors basically like i mean if you're a good shooter and you know, your teammates are not that great of a shooter, the coach might put you at shooting guard. But let's just say if you are taller and you can't shoot, you're more like rebounding defensive player, then you know, the coach might put you at small forward. I mean, it really depends on how you really want to play, you know, your own game. If you want to be a small forward or do you want to be a shooting guard, you got to play that way or, you know, or that certain way. But like I said, if the coach and the team needs you to play something else based on what they have, then uh, that might alter what you might play. So yeah, there's a lot of different factors. Next up, we have Eric. I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong again. Eric Galioti. Galioti, man. I think next Twitter Tuesday, I'm not gonna shout you guys' names out. I mean, even though I put it like right here, y'all can see. But basically, he said, Nelly, please answer this question when you can. My hyper dunks are breaking, and I'll be needed new kick soon. Thanks. Hey Nelly, I'm looking for the right basketball shoe for my career and I don't know what to get. The shoe I have previously owned the past few years is 20 ever done I am a point shooting guard and my game is fast and explosive. I take it to the hole most of the time, so I need good traction, but I also need good traction or not good traction, good angle support. Any suggestions for basketball shoes to get provides good traction and support and even good looking. I really appreciate you taking your time for reading this. Thank you, brother. Community help I can. Thanks. Okay, let's break it down. Point shooting guard, your game is fast and explosive. Kind of reminds me of somebody. Nah, 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 nah I'm, I'm not. Fast and explosive. I'm like slow and uh, slow. Okay, take it to the hole most of the time. Need good traction. I mean, I don't know if there's a. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, there's a shoe point. I don't think point shooting guard really matters uh, in terms of like I guess your size. It does. If I would compare myself 
to you, which is kind of similar in the traits where you say fast and explosive point shooting guard, I would say I personally like the Kobe AD mids a lot. You know, I'd be preaching about that shoe a lot. I like the Dame 4s. Dame 4s is a phenomenal shoe, but traction is not all that there. So that I don't know if that might cancel out for you, but uh, Dame 4 is a really good shoe uh, that I like. That performed really well. Can't go wrong with the Hyper Dunk 2017 and the Crazy Explosive 2017. Those, you know, were solid shoes. Uh, traction's there, cushioning is there. Fit and comfort might not be all there, but I mean, it depends if you like it or not. It was personally okay for me. But, uh, you know, I prefer other shoes. Jordan 32, surprisingly, might be a good shoe for you. Cushioning is there. The traction is there. Uh, it is a little bit bulky and more on the heavier side compared to other shoes. But uh, for sure, those, what, five shoes that I listed right there, those are all five solid shoes for you. You're talking about the same play style, like, kind of similar to mine. And I personally like those shoes. Then uh, you should definitely go give those a try. And don't forget, PG1s, man. PG1s are always out there. One of the best hoop shoes this year. So um, I think those are good enough options for you to choose from. Next up, Mr. Mason asks Nelly, yo, I have a question. How many Jordans do you have compared to Adidas? I'm gonna have to say I got half a pair of Jordans and one eighth of an Adidas shoe. That's my whole collection, for real though. Not even playing, that's all I got. Nah, man, I'm just playing. I don't really know how much exactly of each uh, I have, but um, yeah, for sure, double digits in both. Uh, I, I don't know the exact amount. I, I don't count my shoes. I can tell you I have a lot, but uh, I don't know the exact amount. I don't even know if I have more Jordans than Adidas, to be honest, but uh, I would say they're pretty close though. All right, next up we got Ventus Keys. He said, Nelly, which cushion do you prefer to play in besides Zoom, Boost, or Charge? The answer is Bounce Cushioning by Adidas. I personally like Bounce Cushioning more than Boost Cushioning because Bounce is fairly similar to Zoom. And like for all y'all who know me, Zoom is my all time favorite cushioning setup. So it's gonna be Zoom, Bounce, and even Charge. Charge is pretty good too. I like Charge to be honest. Man, I don't, I don't get flame for saying this, but you know, Boost for me, it's probably gonna be in the bottom. Boost shoes are mad comfy, don't get me wrong. But it's not suitable for my play style. But uh, yeah, bounce cushioning. I play in bounce cushioning. Next up, we got Mike. He said, Nelly, what video editing program do you use to edit your videos? I don't edit my videos. You know, I got a team of editors who do that for me. I help them out with the edits. You know, I tell them like what to include and stuff like that. Basically, I give them the, the idea on how to edit the videos. There is a variety of different, you know, editing softwares or editing programs out there. Uh, you know that you know different people like to use it all depends on which one they're comfortable with but they're all pretty similar uh, I know a lot of people like to use Final Cut Pro and uh, Adobe Premiere Pro I think those are the most common ones but I know people like to use you know iMovie or Movie Maker it all depends man I, I don't know what you're trying to edit if you trying to wait did you say you're trying to edit YouTube videos Oh, edit my videos, but like I said, I don't edit my videos. I help out with the edits, but like I said, it all depends on what type of videos you're trying to edit, like whether it's school projects or YouTube videos, you know, any of those can do a you know great job editing those videos. So I hope that answers your question. All right, last question of the week goes to Matthew. Oh, hey, Nell. I always enjoy b-ball and the shoe videos. Just want to ask, man, are you going to come down to Malaysia? Yo, Matthew, Malaysia and all the other you know Asian countries that I've never been to I've been wanting to go there especially ever since I started doing YouTube because I know I got a fan base out there you know from all the supporters I have uh, and I really want to go out and just you know give back and you know show some love to all you guys maybe not soon but one day or hopefully soon I'll be able to make my way across the world to you know Malaysia Singapore uh, you know Vietnam Australia, Japan, Korea. I want to go to all these places. I just want to, you know, meet all you guys out there, you know? It's cuz I know, you know, for all my supporters who are not, you know, close to home such as, you know, America or LA specifically, you guys are just seeing me through your computer, your phone, your uh, you know, just through YouTube videos and you know, I, I don't get a chance to meet y'all, you know, that often. So if I ever get the chance to go out there, most definitely, uh, I will want to, you know, meet with you guys and, you know, just, you know, share the love and passion that, you know, that we have together, 
you know, when doing these type of videos, I always wanted to travel across the world, one, to explore and learn about all the different cultures and just learn about the different aspects of different countries in the world. You know, I always love to travel just to see it with my own eyes and experience because I believe traveling is an amazing part in life that you gotta do, um, you know, to really appreciate, you know, what you have and just, you know, opens your eyes to the rest of the world. I hope to answer your questions, man. You know, one day, for sure, whether I'll be traveling myself or, you know, with the homies, the Fung Bros, Richie, or anybody else, Hype Talk, uh, you know, we always be traveling, but, you know, more so they do more than I do, you know, because, you know, they, they're the big ballers, you know, I'm a small timer. But, you know, one day, I'm working my way up there. When the opportunity comes, and when I can travel as much as I want to, most definitely, I will hit y'all up, man, out there. That doesn't only account for, you know, the Asia countries, whether it's Europe, you know, Africa, any other countries that share that same love and passion that the supporters give, you know, I would like to go to, man. And it just doesn't even come down to just about the YouTube, but just traveling alone, just to experience and, uh, you know, get to know and learn about the rest of the world is, is awesome. It's an awesome feeling, man. It's something you can't learn through textbooks or watching a video on your computer or your phone or something like that. If you ever get the chance to go out and travel, man, go out and travel. All right, y'all, that wraps up for this week's episode of Twitter Tuesday. Like always, I'm gonna tell y'all if you guys got any questions, concerns, thoughts, whether it's about basketball, sneakers, NBA, life, whatever that is, man, just hit me up on Twitter, at Nelly Nell Chan, with the hashtag AskHoopinLife, and uh, I'll try my best to answer whatever questions y'all got. Make sure to follow my other social medias in the description box down below, Instagram specifically, doing giveaways once a month, sometimes more, surprise giveaways, so make sure to hit me up on IG, and show some love, Facebook. I love doing these videos for you guys. You know, right now, you know, it's in the beginning phase, you know, the hits might not be coming, but, I, it doesn't matter, man. Like I said, I love you know engaging with you guys, answering y'all questions, trying to help you guys out the best way that I can. It's a good feeling, man. Just trying to give back to you guys, help out however way I can. Check out these other videos. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope I'm able to make good content for you guys to enjoy from now on. Until then, hoopin' life. I'm out. Peace.